And then Ronan Dex just rolls in with a gun and is like, bang, bang. <laughs> I would. And then your wife says, do the dishes. <laughs> okay, um, next question. Hi. Hey, listen, um, my question is that, um, did you, in the scenes that you're speaking Dothraki, did you actually learn the language or were you just bringing it? No, no, I learned the language. <laughs> my, my second question is, do you know this character called Kratos from this game called God of War? Do I know God of War? Yes. Yeah, the guy from the white. Really yeah. Yeah. I mean, we and the people at my office think that you'd be a perfect guy to the play. You'd be the perfect person to I know, I saw guy. pictures of that guy. I would love to play him. Just, yeah. So if Sony ever contacts you with that, would you consider playing Oh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. 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 Thank you for what you're doing to have a contract. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Fantastic. The next question is the guy. I recently directed a short film. Brown Back Diaries. Brown Back Diaries. Can you tell us a little bit more about it? Well, I'll tell you about the movie that I'm doing right now. We did, we kind of did Brown Back Diaries. Uh, I took a script and split it into three different shorts because I wanted to prove myself as a director. So one's a black and white silent film that I did in Bulgaria. The other one's a period piece, Brown Back Diaries, Rise of Blinds of D Minor. So it's a period piece about some hobos. It's about uh, two brothers that basically, uh, this man saved his little brother from their house from a broken home and he, they ride the rails together and all of a sudden you see him wake up from this dream and his brother gets dragged by this train he wakes up and no one's there and all of a sudden he sees his brother they have this, him waking up from a dream over and over and over every morning because he's with his brother, they catch the train, they have a conversation and he ends up having to split. It's basically the pressures of like losing trying to, if you were to take care of your family and then lose your family, and like, it's just slowly a man going insane. So it's just, over the a course of a day, him waking up, seeing, or waking up in the bathroom about his brother dying, going through the course of the day, talking to him, and then just basically talking to people that aren't there, and then going to sleep, like, and they're not there, and then wake up and then he is there. So it's just literally like, going through, the amount of stress and the places a person has to go sometimes and in dealing with that. Uh, so that was like a period piece. And then um, I'm doing a movie right now that I'm, I got two weeks left. I've been shooting for two and a half months. It's called Road to Paloma. It's my first movie. I uh, wrote it and producing it, directing it. And Woo! Yeah, it's great. I got my wife in it and Michael Raymond James and Marissa Tomei. Woo! Murphy and left a lot of great actors, Sarah Shahi, um, the list goes on, but we have, uh, and it's really a beautiful story that I can't wait to show. We're going to turn it into Sundance and hopefully we win. And, and then maybe it's going to see it. Thank you very much. Nice question, please.